lives. <laughs> can you see my this one? Oh, you can see yourself. Oh, there we go. Now we're live. Okay, hi. It's uh, Wire Wednesday number 18, and uh, today we're going to do acrylic. Uh, I noticed I uh, went back through all the other Wire Wednesdays and realized we don't have... Oh, I got to mute that. Anyway, hello everyone. My son is running the board again. <laughs> the dancing son. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do acrylic again. This is what I had that I was going to do next anyway. Um, so I was going to do acrylic. I, oh, going back, I was going to go do... Uh, I was going back through all my Wire Wednesday to see what all the subjects were. And I've only done one acrylic, so... And it looked like it got a, a lot of uh, analytics, like a lot of people were watching it. So I thought I'd do it again, maybe cover some topics I didn't cover last time. Uh, this is... Hello, Stanley. You're back again. Nice to see you again. Um, but again, I'm going to be doing uh, acrylic today. I have I noticed in the last video I was in my box where uh, it's fume controller. This time I'm going to be doing it out in the open where I can get better camera angles, as you can probably see, uh, better lighting. Uh, that way you can you can really tell if uh, what I'm doing. Hopefully, I'm get different angles. My son's going to be trying to switch to the best angle at all times. So, yes. And he has a rule not to show the patient's name, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to get... Okay, so this doctor, this patient wants crystal clear, which is this color right here and this monomer right here. So... Uh, let's just get started now what I do with my labial acrylic is I like to use this stuff which is uh, tinted clear which uh, tends to not yellow as bad as regular clear hello oh man Abdur Abdur Abdu Gomai am I saying that right <laughs> where are you from alright so I usually start with the labial acrylic and the main reason is usually if there's color on the palatal side I don't want it to flip over uh, onto the front of my teeth here and then I put acrylic over it then you can never get it separated so I build it up with clear acrylic here and I build it kind of thick so if color does spill over again this is clear but when I do a color one next if color does spill over onto the labial I can just grind it off uh, it won't affect it so bad so I'm going to put some tinted clear monomer. I got asked uh, by my Patreons over at patreon.com. Uh, look up Retainer Designer if you're interested in supporting this channel. But otherwise, I, I was doing some uh, answering some questions live video. Uh, so if you're a Patreon, I, I talk about the, the needles uh, that I use on my monomer bottles that I get from JBC and company because they were asking how do you attach these and I just buy them already attached so this camera on my right is going to be right in the way where I put my bottles in it it's one reason I got the multi-stream live setup so I can have different angles because my hands get in the way. It's hard to get the perfect angle, the one shot stop kind of thing. So I think about moving this camera on my right to right in front of me. Ah, oh, smell a monomer in the morning. I guess it is noon here, so lunchtime monomer. You don't smell it. You've grown up in the lab too much. All right, so before I'm going to change this camera angle, I think it'll probably be probably be better. Let's try this. Now, right, can you see that? Okay, I'm I'm using an old towel, a little dish rag that was retired to put my monomer on. I like using two because 
Um, if I do glitter on one, glitter gets all over everything. I'll flip this over so I don't get glitter in the next one. You'll notice that when you mess with glitter, it, it gets all over the place. All right, I'm switching to clear. So I'm going to put the name in the retainer right now. Sawyer, go ahead and just switch it to my face. That's my face. He's he's dancing. So I take the name and I put it in the retainer this way. And I put it facing the tissue side so you can read the retainer underneath. Okay, you can switch it back, sorry. Okay. Hoping this new setup will be easier to see what I'm doing with the acrylic. And I just kind of sprinkle right where I need it. Again, you want to over sprinkle a little bit so that you know you can grind down some. Clear is a little tricky because you can see through it. So you tend to make clear a little thicker than you usually do. Because uh, I usually judge when I do colors, if I see this this wire or not. You're gonna leave that right now. And when I make my cuts to the back of this retainer, uh, I'll show you how I look at my thickness to see um, how thick it's supposed to be. So retainers are generally recommended two to three millimeters thick. That's good patient comfort and strength again you're not going to be able to get it all two to three millimeters but you know that's a good goal see look i got a little piece of glitter in there if you see glitter when you're if you use a lot of glitter like i do and it gets all over everything you'll see it in your ones that don't get glitter dig it out right when you see it because you don't want to dig it out when it's a cured acrylic What are you saying back there, Sawyer? Nothing. I don't want to hear from the peanut gallery. The walnut gallery. Walnut gallery. And I'm going to do a little light dusting. To, you know, in, oh, it slumped a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more. So I put a little bit extra powder on there to soak up you know, excess monomer. Because excess monomer results in slumping. All right, so I'm going to take my little sharp acrylic instrument here, and I'm going to start making cuts. I like to cut away as much as I can in wet acrylic. It's way easier than doing it and cutting it away in cured acrylic. So this will save you some time, and you can check for defects and your thickness and everything. So I just do the top portion here and then do the bottom one I do draw red lines that's a to remind me hey labial acrylic goes on this retainer and B it sometimes I can see it and I can if I draw it straight I can cut right along that red line all right so uh, inside cutting the inside This doctor, you gotta know your doctor. This doctor only wants the sixes covered, so I'm gonna cut it distal to the sixes, like that. And then I kind of go parallel, like this. I don't know if you can see that, and make my cuts this way. Again, this will save you time. You want to be a little conservative. You don't want to go up to where your uh, wire bending is, your wires are. And then usually by the time you get to this point this stuff just peels off sometimes a little better than that I like this end because I can scoop it out so then now I don't know which camera angle is better Sawyer you can see the thickness it's kind of hard to clear this camera in front of me you can see
can see I, I got pretty plenty of thickness there and plenty of thickness there and there. You, sometimes it gets thin or thick there too. Uh, one thing you can do also is put a little final monomer on there and you can mold this acrylic just ever so slightly. I'm going to mold the labial bowl so you can get it to even out some. Make sure you use gloves if you're sensitive to acrylic. I don't tend to be sensitive to it. So there we go. Let me put it in the pressure pot now. Here, I'll, I'll flip this around. Get all the wires and stuff. I need more room, Sawyer. So the first thing I do is I put it on the cup before I submerge it in the water. This way I don't have to pre-soak it before I sprinkle. Uh, this way no water gets sucked up through the bottom and into the acrylic causing bubbles. So I'll leave that on the cup. Now we'll move on to the next one. Job. Guess what color I'm using, Sawyer? Tropical blue. Can you read that? Lapis blue. Lapis blue. What does that remind you of? I don't know. Minecraft, man. Oh, okay. I almost put lapis blue on labial bow. Alright, so. Um. Same thing. This is the same doctor wants labial acrylic upper and lower. I got a spider rolling across this towel. You know, some mouths are very um, tapered in a way, or, or it's hard to do labial acrylic. This is one of those. It's hard to do labial acrylic because there's really nothing to sprinkle against. It's all sharp angles and stuff. Sawyer, I watched that video of you doing the acrylic at the convention. Yeah. They were having you do uh, a premix method, not this method, the sprinkle method. Still don't smell this stuff? Nope. You need to blow your nose or something. Uh, I think I got this. No, not here. Uh, I think I got this thick enough so I can grind it down to the wire or close to the wire, which is what I want to do. But I want to keep it thick because, hey, this is the first. This is the first thing I sprinkle. So this is the first thing that's going to cure, meaning I'm going to get small air bubbles. Uh, it's going to bench cure before I get in the pot, uh, which means it. It'll, I'll get small little air bubbles, which is not good. Alright, so I'm going to put a little layer of clear. Underneath my color. And this is so I can put the name in there. Again, I'm, I'm do It's state law, so I got to do this on all of them. I just put them on the tissue side. It's just easier to work with regarding, you know, designs and stuff. Right. You about to switch over? Yep. Okay. Ah. What was that? 
That was me. All right, we're good. I think it's covered. So lapis blue. I like this blue. Now you'll notice I made red marks here. And this is to remind me to, to do half of the sixes. I told you before, this doctor likes all the sixes covered, but somebody in pour up made a huge void right here underneath. So this tooth is hollow, actually. I did fill up with wax so I don't lose acrylic in there, but um, this is our, the doctor said go ahead and just do it to half the sixes. can't hear you. Sawyer? What? He says he can't hear me. How about this? Is that better? Can you hear me now? Did you turn me up? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's maybe it too low, Greg. Sawyer, I've been sitting here talking this whole time. Don't you have the headphones in? Huh? And you have yes, the headphones? I do. Oh. Let me look at it. Yeah. Yeah, I might, yeah, I might need to turn it up a bit. I'm going to turn it up here. Okay, we'll try that. Hopefully you can hear me. Now, I don't know if it, you couldn't hear me at all or it was too low. Of course, if you still can't hear me. Crystal Baker, hello. What you doing, Crystal? Crystal would be the type that would like this color. This is lapis blue. Lazuli. Yeah, yeah, lapis lazuli. Yeah, that's what's in Minecraft, isn't it? Yeah, that's the, that's the name for it. Oh, you know what? I gotta check something. Yeah, that's what's in Minecraft. Oh, yeah, it's got sound coming through. Sometimes you'll need to keep hydrating your labial acrylic. About to put bead in retainer. <laughs> Retain. Retain, sir. To snare. I think your cat stepped on your keyboard. Like bead as in, uh, what do you call those? Uh, habit appliance? I use lapis blue for my mar- Ooh, I bet that makes really good marble. I did a trial using Steve Zara's method, making a uh, marble retainer, uh, trying it with the JBC acrylics, because they handle a little bit different than Great Lakes, so you got to use a little bit different technique. So soon, we'll, we won't, Steve and I won't be so busy, and we can... Uh, get together and, and I can I'm planning on doing this live um, from while he's telling me how to do it so it should be fun again it's a different technique so we'll both be learning how to do it with uh, JBC Greetings from Germany, Mr. Dark Cloud. Very ominous sounding. Mr. Dark Cloud. I think he's probably the happiest guy you've ever met. 
Nice work. Oh, I guess you're talking about the marble. Or my lapis blue. So again, I'm, I'm cutting it. Oh yeah, thank you. My son is teaching me manners. Oh, I cut this too soon. Usually I cut this first. Because it cures first. You can see... Oh, where did it go? Ah. Get it close up here. You can see it's starting to get small little bubbles and starting to get hard. It's 79 degrees in here, so I'm pushing it to where it's going to be kind of hard to for it to cure. You keep it up, Sawyer? I'm moving around a lot. Yeah. See, I can't even cut it. I'm letting it. setting up too fast got the AC cranking but with all these lights on me hmm I don't like seeing that acrylic move like that what's the advantage of colored powder over colored liquid colored powder is opaque you can't see through it it's it gives you a really dark rich color um, whereas the liquids are transparent you can see through it so if you're trying to do designs or something usually you want to go with a, a colored powder um, just because it represents the color better alright let me switch over so the ones that were here saw me put this in the pressure pot So I have it on the cup. It's got its initial oh, cure. Now, I smell acrylic. now you smell it when I open the pressure pot. So I'm gonna put this in the water, and then I put this on the cup. And so that's my little system. So I don't have to pre-soak these. I can't do that one-handed. All right, I'm gonna speed up on the next one. It was starting to set up on me. It's hard to get. Oh, colored powder is hard to get in the UK. I uh, check with jbcandcompany.com. I think they ship overseas, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that that should. Uh, yeah, check with them. I I know they ship overseas for sure. All right. Here we go again. I'm going to start with labial acrylic. You can really tell where I didn't paint it. So you can, I can put a drop here and you can't really tell a difference because it's not soaking in the model. But here you can see it's soaking the model. I saw it run down. I thought that was a interesting thing to show y'all. Never seen it in UK ortho suppliers. Interesting. Oh, Mr. Dark Cloud, I work in a specialist laboratory for orthodontics. Cool. Yeah, your works are really co cool and beautiful colors you use. Oh yeah, I love using my colors. Sawyer, remind me when I'm done with this one. I'll show them my acrylic cabinet and all the colors in there. And uh, okay. Samuel Douglas might want to see. The, the differences in the colors and the opaques and stuff uh, if I don't get to it guys there's a video I have a live stream where I've unboxed the starter kit from JBC all 80 something colors and uh, you can see all the colored polymers and monomers now that she makes different lines of colored polymers 
another advantage of colored polymers is uh, they don't bleed into each other as bad if when you're doing uh, designs because you know you'll use a blue and a red monomer and they'll bleed together and make purple which is something sometimes you want that sometimes you don't but if you want a nice sharp line between colors it's good to use colored polymer because it doesn't bleed into each other as bad all right so switching to my regular clear so that tinted clear is a little bit more expensive oh, so don't use it Sorry. you ready okay, now yeah. you say switch it to my clear and i thought you meant like the face camera oh dude is it am i on face camera now Whoa, Sam, again, with your trickery in your language. Let me get up Google Translate. You have to Google Translate that. I, dang it. Oh. Sam, did, you never sent me your questions. Oh, here. What link do I use? You can go here. Just type in translate. So I'll give you two things up at once. Yep. So I'm gonna do oh. this in three. Oh. Copy, paste. Oh, how do you heart? Oh, how do you love the heart? How do you love the heart? Sam's always sending me poetry in Arabic. Love, love the, the heart, heart and win, and win your, your eyes. eyes. It sounds like poetry. Most of the ortho in UK is National Health Service, so it's rare to be asked for color. Oh yeah, you got just you got to just use uh, same thing with like Medicaid here in the states. Um, they don't offer any colors or anything like that. But since there's a lot of private practice here in the states, uh, they let the kids choose. How are you? Hey Sam. Yeah, I was waiting on your question, Sam. You never did send it to me. That was you, Sam, right? That um, you were wanting to ask me some questions. Yeah. I forget, are you in dental school? Now, uh, Samuel Douglas, um, I do offer all my colors for free to my doctors. It's just one of the benefits of using my lab. All 80 colors they can pick from because I know my clients, even though my clients are doctors, my doctor's clients are preteen teen, and they love their colors. And uh, I just think it's a benefit. Now, and hopefully it makes them wear their retainer more. So, you know, somebody gets a, a polka dot, you know, mini Mouse looking retainer, maybe they'll wear it more because they, they like to show it off. And, you know, it it's really funny to see the all the YouTube videos of kids making trying to make their own retainer in case you didn't notice this is I did this in three stages and it really depends on the shape of the lower um, I'm gonna put a clear coat I like to put a clear coat in all my colors especially glitters to kind of encapsulate them so they don't stick out of the uh, finished surface of the retainer so I, I'm just used to putting a clear coat on all my colors
Crystal, did you see my... You, I think you were just at Disneyland, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, did you see my polka dot colors on Instagram? I did. It looked like Minnie Mouse. Just wondering what about lab fees maybe you won't want to discuss. Uh, I'll leave that to... I'll have to think about that. Because it's all different in different areas of the states. You know, the East Coast and West Coast is uh, pretty expensive. I mean, we're looking at $50, $60 retainers. In the mid-central where I'm at, you know, you're looking at you know, $30 to $40 retainers. Just basic retainers with uh, ball class. I don't know what the, you, what the conversion is in sterling pounds. Uh, but, you know... There's a twenty dollar difference in retainers between labs, and it, it depends on the services they offer and how good they are. You know, some like where I want to get, uh, they're sixty, seventy dollars a retainer, but you know they don't want any more work. So if you're willing to pay that, then you know they're willing to do your work for you. Uh, they're just a one man, one woman show. Some are on the verge of semi-retirement and they just don't want that much work. So they'll charge hefty fees. But then when you get to that age, you you got so much experience that you're very, very valuable to the doctors. Alright, I'm going to keep hydrating this labial bow. Oh, hold on. Smooth this out some. Now I try to get the thickness all the same. That's a good idea for maybe the patrons that watch. Maybe we can really open up the books and look at the prices and stuff. Because uh, I've been kind of working with that lately. Okay. <sighs> Putting it in the pressure pot. Sweetheart, all that it says sweetheart. No, it's only that. I don't know. Hold on. I messed up again. Uh. Sweetheart, wink. <laughs> <laughs> wink, Tasley. I don't know what that says. <laughs> what camera view are you on? Can they still see what I'm doing? This one. Okay. Coffee. You just said delete. Paste. Expensive. Expensive. Yeah. All right. No. Oh, probably around three dollars thirty pounds for NHS. Sorry, thirty-five dollars. Yeah, that's probably around. Mm, Probably the national average. Christopher, I've tried to use the tinted clear on white polymer. It looks so bright. I didn't think about that. I was a little afraid that you'd see little streams of light, the tinted purple in there. That's a great idea. Uh, I'm not, I'll have to try that. Yeah, because that yellow, the the this crystal clear is what they call it. Oh, let me show you what I just did. What? Why well, I like using a little towel. And you can throw these away when they get beat up and stuff uh, I just folded it up and dumped whatever was on there to clean it up translate expensive yeah and I don't know what the sweetheart part winky face maybe it was this thing blush 
So thirty five round, so thirty pounds for an NHS retainer. Uh, do you have to charge that? Like, you, can you charge your own prices, or that's the only price you can charge when you work for the NHS? Oh, you're about to pour up a fixed bike plate too. So this is what I've got. This is my last one. Maybe I'll attempt a swirl or whatever y'all vote on for a design. I'll do that next. Um, All right. All right. I'm translating this. Paste. Yol about his education. Yo, y o e l. Yol about his education. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Okay. So, I like to use the tinted clear for the fixed bike plate. Because I think the thing just looks like an ice cube when I'm done. No, up to lab to the... Oh, that's good. I know the doctors can only get reimbursed so much from the Medicaid here in the States. Uh... So they like to keep their prices as low as possible from the labs. And they can charge whatever they want for the retainer, but they're only going to get reimbursed from the state. I, I guess Medicaid's a Texas-only thing, uh, but they can only get reimbursed from the state, you know, 20 bucks. You know, they could charge 40 and make the patient pay another 20 bucks, but, you know, they'll probably just get a clear retainer. Oh, Crystal, I lost you. Love them. Oh, the uh, polka dot retainers. Those turned out really good. Raccoon, you're back. What's up, man? Glad to see all these returners. All right, so I'm going to just... That's it. That's all my I do on my bike plate. I like to make it a nice square. These teeth are real short. So I guess I could take my little tool and scrape it off here. All right, into the pressure pot. Again, for those that are watching, let's see if I can do this one-handed. on the cup in the water and put this on the cup. So then those get a nice final soak through. Uh, the water helps clean up all the monomer free radicals and stuff. And it's easier to separate uh, if they've been soaking. If they're nice and warm and soaking. Alright, what time is it? 12.40. I got 15 minutes. I got 15 minutes, so what do y'all want me to do? I'm Back, bro. <laughs> back oh, bro. Oh, the cabinet. The cabinet. Oh, yes, thank you. Here, let me use this phone. Alright, so you're asking about colors. Oh my gosh. Here is my color choices. So here are my luminary. So these are all... Um, can they hear me okay? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. These are all my... So these all glow in the dark. And they are correlation with these, which are royal red. So these are slightly translucent. They're like neon. They're just bright, nice colors. Um, but they don't glow in the dark. These have a, a little bit of, of a pastel look to them. Uh, but they, they definitely glow in the dark pretty good. You can't tell it. you got to charge it up like this. And you got to charge... Sorry. It's not showing it. Yeah, you got to charge the retainer. And then it glows on can't tell because I got too much light going on. Anyway. Oh, here's an example. So I used lu Luminary Green on this uh, Minecraft head. Uh, this was in the LMT magazine. I uh, finally found it and I hung it up in my lap. Uh, there's Steve Zara up there and then there's uh, Esperanza. Some people of these that I know. And then, uh, but that's what it looks like glow in the dark. So that's with the lights on. That's luminary. 
So then these are the real dark opaque powders, and of course you always start with uh, white and black. And then you got banana yellow and crimson red and dove gray, chocolate brown, caramel tan, sky blue, fern green polymer, amethyst. Is that a Minecraft color too? Nautical blue. See, nautical blue is a really good and mustard yellow. Like yeah, I don't think there's amethyst in my color. No. See, like this and this would be. Uh, the town I'm in, their colors are purple and yellow, so those make really good school colors uh, using these. And of course, you got the pearls, which are really fun. They have a, a slight sparkle to them. You can't see, I got my Instagram page, I, I took some pictures of. And then, of course, all these are <laughs> sparkles. And this is the chart they choose from. And we got some gold metallic oh, and stuff. So, and then here are all the monomers, so you can tell they're just really fluorescent yellow. I just did a fluorescent yellow, so check my Instagram page, tip it, ortho lab. Uh, I posted a picture. It looks just like a highlighter. They're purple, and we got all different blues and stuff, so you can tell I like using color. Did you probably type Oh, uh, you can. Uh, look for that Instagram site. I also posted on my Retainer Designer Facebook page. So just search for Retainer Designer on Facebook, and you'll see some pictures of some of these colors that I've posted. Um, what What do y'all vote on? Sawyer, what do you want to see? Design wise, I'll, we got a little bit extra time. I'm gonna I don't know, do a design. To the chat. Let's see what the chat says. I've already got a few coats on this. This is my little trial and error that I made. I could try this again. We could see how it goes. Um, first one to speak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first one to speak gets to choose the. Let's see what colors though. Is, is there anybody watching? They even may have all tuned out. There's 11 people. Oh, gosh. Alright. Just. The time. Alright. Well, let's, uh. Let's do lapis blue and white, like a marble. Uh, since Crystal's mentioned something about doing. Uh, lapis blue in a marble. Uh, we'll do white. We'll see how it goes. Now this is live and I haven't done these two colors before so hopefully it'll work out okay. Now I'm going to I always like starting, I don't know why I mean I got reasons. Starting with like a little clear coat on the bottom I feel like it gives me good color separation and also the color sticks really good to it. So let me I'm gonna start with some white. Let me make a little zigzag. I picked this up from Steve Zara, so if he's watching, he's probably smacking his face. Going, Oh, don't do it, Kay, don't do it, you're doing it wrong. And let's do some so I'm keeping all this in powder form. wet all the powder all at once. Crystal, I'm going to have to get you on this live stream so you can show us your techniques too. I've seen your colors. They look good. So and then I'm going to take this and just dance it around.
And then you want to freeze it with some clear. Now, what I mean by freezing it is, you know, you saw it was all saggy and swirling around and stuff. Um, and I wanted to stop the swirl in its tracks. I used to I used the root beer monomer for the first time today to make my giraffe look much better than concert. <gasps> I didn't think about root beer monomer for the giraffe. I've got to remember that. See, we need to make a database of these acrylic colors. There we go. Oh, let's do the other side. Let's see if I can get it to combine together. All right, so a little bit of clear on the bottom, the undercoat, so to speak, which you have to pay extra for in a used car place. All right, then I'm going to do white. I'll make a W, and we'll make this an upside down W. You're right, that's an in. <laughs> Get these nice and wet. Yeah, I like your idea, Crystal, about using the tinted monomer. I don't want to do it too much. Pull some blue over here some blue over here there we go I like that let's freeze it with some clear all right Steve Zara if you're watching this I think I'm ready to learn from the master maybe we'll get crystal to join us Retainer what? Trio. Retainer trio. Yeah, trio. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the pressure pot. I'll finish it up later, and I'll post some pictures on uh, my Facebook page, retainerdesigner.com or retainer. Sorry, Facebook slash user slash just look up retainer designer you'll find it in Facebook <laughs> alright into the pressure pot it goes alright so we will sign off. Thank you for tuning in. I uh, hope, hope it helped. hope I answered some questions and helped y'all. And that's my son, Sawyer. He's he's video producer. And uh, so, yeah, he's, you can tell he's home for summer. He's crazy. Don't stop. <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all later. Happy bending. <laughs>